All right, and we are live. We are live. We are live. What the deal, everybody? Welcome to Too Rich to Miss Unscripted. We are live. Imagine that. We are live from the booth. We are upstairs from the studio, the upstairs part of the studio. Uh, working out of the booth here, uh, working some things out. We got another live show that's taping, and we are got another live show that we're going to be doing this weekend. Um, so it's a lot of things happening out here in the wonderful world of crypto. And let me get the appropriate screen up for you guys here. Uh, this is our first live uh, that we are doing for Too Rich to Miss Unscripted. This is the Friday edition, and you are now tuned in to the hottest voice in crypto, Mr. Too Rich, the southern urban voice, coming to you off of the East Coast right here in the United States of Virginia, <laughs> the United States of America, but, you know, right here in Virginia. Uh, but we got a lot of things we're going to be talking about today, talking about today uh, working it out, getting a little comfortable here in the booth. Uh, doing this thing live today. Uh, let me know how the stream is going. Let me know how everything looks and sounds. Um, obviously, I'm going to be going back uh, listening and looking at this later on. But we are going to be talking about the big boy Bitcoin is on the move. If you have been do you, if you have been listen, look at, listening to me and looking at this channel, then you know that I've been talking about DYORing into the big boy Bitcoin uh, for quite some time now. I've been talking about getting into Ethereum for quite some time now. Ethereum over five hundred dollars right now, looking real good. Uh, the altcoin forest is starting to light up. Uh, I told y'all that uh, that li uh, the link was about to go on and get back fired up. Uh, so yeah, I mean the market is looking real good right now. And one thing that I need to keep in mind, I understand that a lot of my older cats don't really understand what's happening out here with this. Um, I mean, and when I talk about gains and everything that's happening, people don't get it. Um, because a lot of people don't understand the reason why. So one of the things we're gonna be talking about is the reason why. Uh, we're going to be talking about why it's important to get into crypto and uh, some of these other important things as well. But in the meantime and in between time, you know how we get down over here. Let's get past all of that. Let me get the intro and the shout out out the way. And we're going to hop right into it. As you know, the only real color that matters is green. Let's get it. <laughs> Welcome to Too Rich to Miss Unscripted. You're now tuned in to your host, the hottest voice in cryptocurrency, Mr. Too Rich, the Southern Urban Voice. And this show is all about giving you the tools, news, and reality that you can use to make the most out of your cryptocurrency journey and avoid getting wrecked and make some sick gains. Let's get it. The only real color that matters is green. All right, and we are back. And I hope the audio for that came out because I could not hear it here. And I hope it came out over there. Uh, but if it did not, uh, we will definitely go through and work it out on the back end. Uh, working out the kinks here as we are out here live on Too Rich to Miss Unscripted. Uh, come and be sure to follow us on YouTube and be sure to follow us on Instagram as well at Too Rich to Miss. Uh, we have a great and phenomenal episode of the podcast that we got coming out this week. We have a wonderful interview with one of the main and major OGs in the space. Uh, when you're talking about black people and Bitcoin, he is the guy. Um, so we're going to be talking to him on Tuesday. Uh, so uh, this week we're going to be talking about some other interesting and intriguing things and trying to get everybody educated on what to do and why it's important um, to be talking about crypto other than the fact of 
uh, making, you know, making some gains here. So as we can see, as, as I was talking about a little bit earlier, the market is doing what it needs to do. Bitcoin over 18,000. Uh, you're going to start to hear and so, uh, hear a lot of people suddenly talking about Bitcoin. Um, everybody is in the green. If you've been listening to me, do you understand that? Uh, you DCA on the red days and you kind of enjoy the ride on the green days. Uh, but DCA is the way. And if you've been DCA since I've been talking about it at 10,000 and it's at 18,000, you're doing really good. If you've been looking at and doing and hopping into Ethereum, uh, you've been doing really good. Uh, so, you know, D-Y-O-R and hop in and get in where you fit in. The D5 marketplace is moving up as well. We are looking at a total value locked of about 14, 14 billion. Ooh, excuse me, 14 billion uh, for the market cap right now. They've been making a progress up. It was at about 10, uh, 11, 11 uh, billion dollars the last time that we were having our conversation about that um, over here on the show. Um, I mean, hey, D-Y-O-R, Ave. I've been in Ave for quite some time, and I am comfortable with that, what's been happening with Ave. But as always, do your own research. Let's hop right into the news. Bitcoin resurgence, pri Bitcoin resurgent price sparks new wave of interest from Wall Street. Uh, this is something that's not very surprising at all. Um, as, the, uh, as the price of Bitcoin starts to soar and get back up again, uh, we all know that everybody in Wall Street is going to all of a sudden come around. Uh, you got J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dinosaur Diamond uh, is, you know, talking, talking and saying what he's going to say. Uh, we already know anybody who's thinking and really observing. Uh, we know that he's been in the background making money off of this all along. Uh, so we're not going to even sit there and play like we don't know what's really happening with that. Uh, but it is not unusual for everybody to start talking about it and for Wall Street to see what we have seen the whole time. Wall Street sees Bitcoin as a safe haven. Uh, well, yeah, we've uh, there's been quite a few of us that have been seeing it as a safe haven since it has been at 7000. And there have been some of us that have been in way before that. Uh, so, hey, I mean, it's, you know, uh better late than never right uh ethereum price goes past 500 uh that's also a wonderful thing to be keeping in mind uh, like i was telling us uh, some of my uh the audience that you listen to dyor into ethereum it's definitely a player it's going to be here it's not going anywhere uh so you might as well hop on and enjoy the ride not financial advice just telling you what i'm doing and what's gonna you know i mean hey you know, it's going to be around for a while. Now, let's move on here. And this is just some other little things that are going to be very important. And I want to kind of get down to something that's really intriguing. Players prefer cashing out in Bitcoin amid rally, says online poker giant. Uh, once again, this all kind of goes along with the hype. These type of things you're going to hear about. Uh, then, of course, we can go through and talk about the corporate Bitcoin frenzy. Companies now hold $15.3 billion in Bitcoin. The smart money is definitely doing something and moving into Bitcoin. Now, and then we could go through and talk about Logic, um, a rapper uh, that is, you know, calling himself Bitcoin Bobby, has spent about $6 million in Bitcoin. Uh you know, we could talk about that as well. Uh, there's a lot of positive things that are going on in the market, but all of that really doesn't make a difference if you don't really understand what it is and why it is. And know, uh, like even with this, where this uh, where Lil Yachty is to issue his own crypto asset on Fuse. I mean, he's going to essentially tokenize himself. Um, on this platform that's not available in America just yet, uh, but is a rather interesting and intriguing thing. He's going to tokenize himself. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's going to be interesting as well. That's an intriguing thing as well. And it's just, uh, and once again, it gets to the whole point of, I know to my older audience, it's like, uh, well, what does all of this mean? This is really cool, but I don't know how to buy it. I'm not really too intrigued. It's interesting, but it's not really it's not really my thing uh it's not really my thing 
Why should I be interested in it? Well, I'll tell you why. I just mentioned earlier that Wall Street is now saying what we've already knew as it being a store of value. Here's what I want to talk about today that's the most important thing of this particular episode. I want to talk about quantitative easing. And a lot of people don't understand what it is. But let's keep it real simple. Printing money. It's real fancy. They're injecting. They're just expanding the cash flow. Uh, you know, we could definitely go down and talk about how the monetary system is not backed by gold any, anymore. Um, and that's true. Uh, we could talk about... Um, you know how the dollar is decreasing in value uh, because of this and that's true um, but what does all of this mean in layman's terms and how does it really affect you when it says risk and side effects and it can go through and we can talk about and break down all of the things that it says there and it can start to get confusing so what does it all mean it all means that there's more when you go to buy meat it's going to cost more uh, if it hasn't run out already, um, it goes to show uh, I'm talking about when you buy gas and it's more expensive. I'm talking about when you go and buy diapers for your baby and the diapers are more expensive. I'm talking about when you are doing your everyday things of whatever you want to do. I mean, if you, you know, well, there's not a lot of movies right now. They're closing down. Uh, Netflix is up to $15 a month right now. I remember when Netflix was like $10.99, uh, just as a random example. You know, uh, when we talk about quantitative easing and we talk about the side effects of printing money and we talk about the why of Bitcoin, we mean we say why Bitcoin because it's the thing that holds its value now to, so that the dollar that you, or the fiat that you put into it now is still valuable or more valuable in the future and not less valuable as the dollar is. And of course, we can go through and pull up charts and all type of things uh, to show about the decrease uh, in the value of the dollar. And but a lot of us don't even understand uh, so when we say Bitcoin, um, I could definitely go through and go down the rabbit hole and pull out a whole bunch of different charts and things to say why um, in the midst of the quantitative easing standpoint of it. And we could talk about, you know, uh, Bitcoin being deflationary versus, you know, what we have with our fiat currency and fiat currency all ends up going back to zero. And then people will say, well, yes, but the dollar is the uh the national uh reserve the preferred reserve currency this is true uh and no one really knows which way this is going to all pan out in the future but what i do know is for rest us regular everyday people we need to have a hedge we need to hedge our bets and we can't and we need to have balanced portfolios and we need to manage our risks accordingly we need to make sure that we have enough of our funds uh, to be able to do whatever is necessary. So whatever happens, we're good. Uh, that's all that this channel is about, making sure that no matter what's happening, you're good. And there and this is an option uh, to make sure that you got another one of those options of being good, just in case the bank decides to really go way over the deep end. We don't know what they're going to do or not going to do. We don't know if they're going to try to regulate this to all you know to the middle of hell or and try to make it difficult for us to do whatever they do even though they can't stop it uh but you know uh you know there's always going to be a way they can make it difficult but it'll never stop but i honestly think they're preparing right now that's why when i go back and i talk about these articles where uh corporations now hold 15.3 billion dollars in bitcoin uh, they're buying more Bitcoin than actually is being created right now. There's a supply shock uh, that's going to be happening that retail really hasn't felt just yet. And by the time retail really gets in, uh, people like this are going to have a whole uh, and people like this, people like me and others are going to be holding the majority of real Bitcoin and everybody else is going to be buying IOUs now. One thing that I do want to talk about um, before we go and close this episode out is the Ledger Nano X as a cold storage wallet. 
And I really want to put this out there for the sake of letting people know one thing. Not your keys, not your crypto. If you buy crypto anywhere and you are not able to move it to a device such as a Ledger Nano, Nano X, which I actually have, and although the it is small, uh, but type right, the type in the lettering is small, but it does the job quite well. Uh, so if you cannot take the Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency that you purchase off of wherever you purchase it from and put it onto your cold storage device, such as what we're seeing here on the screen. And no, um, not your keys, not your crypto. Uh, I'm not saying that what they're doing is wrong or what they're saying. I'm not saying what they're doing is a scam. I'm just saying it's not you don't control that. And um, and when it comes to money, I like to keep my money in my pocket. Uh, so with all of that said, this is the first live show that we did. Uh, we are going to go back and see how it went uh, because we are working on some improvements to the studio and we're going to be going live more often with other people as well so keep me uh be sure to go through and follow me on to rich to miss on youtube and to rich to miss on instagram and to rich to miss on twitter all of the articles that are here are already on my instagram page and we on my twitter page and our some will be popping up on instagram as well so we will catch you on the next episode peace <laughs>